Hello everyone, a lead code a day. Today our question is lead code 67 at binary. Uh, this is an easy level question, but it's very representative. It's, uh, it has many similar questions. Um, so at binary is given two binary strings and we calculate the sum in binary. So for example, a equals 1, 1, B equals 1, and when we add them together, it's 1, 0, 0. Okay, so the question is, is straightforward, and let's go to the solution. Um, so because for string, it's immutable, and uh, because we want to do a lot of manipulation when we add those two numbers, so we, we use a a list to record our result and in <coughs> when we add two numbers the carry is very important to record the current uh, the, the, the carry for the next digit and uh, also uh, then we come into a for loop to calculate each digit um, because we have to uh, consider like the uh, longer one of A and B because maybe they are not of the same length so we will use for I in range maxi maximum of the length of those two numbers uh, because uh, like I said we those two numbers might be of the set of might not be of the same length so we have to deal with edge cases like when B is longer than A then sometimes we need to assign a zero to A to value of a after we get uh, it's the same with value b after we get value a and value b we will uh, add them those three guys together value a value b and carry and then took the remainder by two because here it's binary uh, and for carry it's divided uh, double divided by two after doing that we have to um, uh, uh, append this remainder to our result list because remember we uh, we actually calculated the adding uh, from the end to beginning like from here to here so another edge case is after we uh, iterate through the maximum length of a and b there is still a, a there is still opportunity that carry is not zero so we have to deal with this specific case here. So if it's not zero, we just append to our result. So because we are calculating a reverse order, so when we return, we have to first re re reverse this list and then convert it to a string. That's it for this problem at binary. Um, if you think you, if you think this video helps. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.